multiple super overs. So USA have elected to go, it looks like, with Andres House and Shaihan Jahangir. And the way it works, the team that is fielding, they stay out there. So USA will bat again. And then there will be a number three. The interval between the Super only five minutes. They will bat these six balls. And then the two sides will switch over. And then Nepal will come out with their three batters. If there are two wickets, the Super over will be ended short of the six balls. And whatever they get, Nepal will have to try and get past. And interestingly, having bowled the final over, the 20th and final, Nepal are going to stick with their man, Sampal Kami, again. And they can also choose which end it is bowled from. So obviously Nepal with the two right-handers at the, the crease walking out, they're going to go with this same end of the ground. I disagree with sending Shai and Jahangir in. If you remember back to the super over that USA had against Pakistan, they had Harmeet Singh in there with Aaron Jones. And a big reason why was because they wanted a left-right combo. If they put in Harmeet Singh with Andre's house here, you have a left-hand, right-hand combo, and that helps negate the short side, long side boundary discrepancy. Nepal is facing two right-handers here, so they've set the field to bowl to that long side boundary where they've got extra protection. It's a lot tougher to score boundaries on that side. If you have a left-hander in there and Harmeet Singh, that neutralizes that in a big way for Nepal. I don't agree with this strategy going into the Super Bowl for USA. And I wonder, is Harmeet Singh going to be the third guy? Should one of these two get out? Well, here we go. Sampal Kami will bowl to Shaihan Jahangir. Get those graphics corrected. We've got House on strike in them, but it's a single to start with, as Anil Saad is the fielding. Remarkably, Peter, this isn't the first tie between these two sides. And it's not even the first tie between these two sides in Texas. Because two years ago, you and I were both there in June in Pearland at the Moosa Stadium. It was 274, played 274. Tonight, that was in an ODI. That ended up as a tie. There was no super over. We're going to have a victor either way, even if it's going to take multiple super overs. Well, this is your first super over. First tied match between these two sides. Hit away into the leg side. That's a good result for Nepal. Only a single. Depender Singh Ari, the fielder. I seem to remember you were a little bit under the weather on that tied match. It was me and Ahmad Patel who were on the call that day, Lenny. They were COVID times, Peter. <laughs> the less said about them, the better. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're 100% for this occasion, Lenny. <laughs> but the fans who are here tonight... They're catching cricket fever in a big way, Lenny. Yeah. I wonder if all those people leaving the Kevin Hart show, they might want an encore in Grand Prairie up. Stadium. Fill it up. They're loving every second. Two off, two balls. Our graphics just a tiny bit incorrect. Balls him straight through. And listen to that roar. Sampal Kami is holding his nerve at the death. And Nepal are sensing a win for the ages. Pulling it out of the fire. USA in real trouble halfway through this super over. Well, again, I disagree. Well, quite remarkable. What a feast and a treat we've been given here on a Saturday night in Texas. An atmosphere that's quite unforgettable as Aaron Jones is the one who's chosen to walk to the crease. A chance at redemption for him after what was an LBW decision that he clearly didn't agree with. Well, I said earlier the candles were blown out by Sampo Kami. Is Sampo going to kick the candles over now? On his 30th birthday, Aaron Jones has three balls to work with. And he heaves it into the leg side. Depender Singh Iri is out there! USA in the super over. They have only two on the board. And Sampo Kami is the hero for Nepal. Surely they're going to go 2-0 up in this series now. Well, he didn't just kick the candles over, he stomped on them. Not a birthday to remember for Aaron Jones. Sumpel Kami, the party pooper for Aaron Jones and the home side here. What bowling by the veteran. He tried to clear that huge boundary. And again, this is why I feel like they should have had Harmeet Singh in there. Having the right-handers try and clear that huge 82-yard boundary is just asking for trouble. If they get a left-hander in there and Harmeet Singh, I don't think they would have had such a calamity in the Super Over. What an extraordinary turnaround and turn of events 
With six balls left, USA only needed seven. Sampal Kami's bowled the next nine, including the super over. He's only conceded eight runs and he's picked up three wickets. Exceptional bowling from one of Nepal's very best. And with all those concerns and worries over their death bowling, it feels like Nepal are on the precipice of doing something incredibly special here, beating a fine American side on their home soil in this inaugural Stake Stars and Summits trophy. The Super Over ends with those two wickets. USA have only two to defend. Well, and if you recall the Super Over that USA bowled against Pakistan, Sarbanesh of Ulker bowled it because he had plenty of runs to defend. In this situation, I feel like you got to go with Ali Khan. You need somebody who could blast out the stumps. So I'm gonna... We're going to see if we can bring you those two wickets from the Super Over. Here is the second one of them. Is it rather fitting, Peter, that Dependra Singh Ari it was on the final ball in regulation time who affected the run out? And then... He also took the catch. Here's the two wickets back to back. That was the first one, a little feather of an outside edge. And then fittingly, Dependra Singari in the deep doing what he does yet again. Well, he's making a strong play for player of the series here, Lenny. <laughs> player of the match yesterday. And he's been a magnet for the ball here at the tail end of this match. Ran in for the run out to end regulation. And now cements the second wicket of the super over with that catch at demon wicket again and Sampal Kami you can't wipe the smile off his face well Peter if, if you know Sampal Kami and Karen Casey they are thick as thieves they are the best of pals they do everything together and they have been the most remarkable servants for their nation they very rarely don't have a smile on their face and at times they've come in for a lot of criticism from the Nepal fans because they have had their problems at the death but against a much vaunted USA side, we heard Rohit Powdell talk at the toss about this is an American team that have beaten Pakistan, that have beaten Bangladesh. They're acutely aware of how good USA are, but here on American soil, albeit with very much a Nepali feel with the exceptional number numbers of Nepal fans that have turned out to support their heroes, they're right on the brink of doing something very special because USA, well, they look run ragged, don't they? They look like they're defeated before they even walk out for this second half of the Super Over. Well, that tied match 274, played 274 in Peru and two years ago, that was a losing tie in the eyes of a lot of USA fans. They really bungled the tail end of that match. There was a double century stand between Steven Taylor and Monarch Patel in that game, and then nobody really remembers it because they really goofed up at the tail end of the chase. And again here... It was essentially a losing tie. USA was in command heading into the final over. They only needed seven runs to win off six balls. 99% of the time, that's a team that's going to get across the line, especially with four wickets in hand. And yet, they couldn't do it. You'd call that a losing tie heading into the Super Over for USA. They were in the far more dominant position at the tail end of that chase. <laughs> and here we go, having scored only two runs off this first half of the Super Over. They've really shot themselves in the foot in a big way, and it's going to need Ali Khan to spear the ball into the feet of the Nepal batters. But they're not going with him. They're going to go with Sarvna Chavalkar again. I, I don't know if I agree with this. I feel like Sarvna Chavalkar bowled the Super over against Pakistan because in that situation, he was better suited to it. In this situation, you need somebody who's going to explode the stumps with raw pace. And I think Ali Khan is the guy to do that. USA management obviously feels differently. What's the approach, I suppose, fascinatingly for the two Nepali batters that have been selected? The captain is taking the responsibility himself. He's going to also take strike. And the man in form who was so brilliant today, surely nailed on to be the player of the match, Kushal Bertel, with that wonderful innings of 92 not out that came off 54 deliveries with seven fours and six sixes what's their approach going to be are they going to tap three singles well Powell going to say i'm going to get it done in one delivery these two guys they're lightning between the wickets they're quick silver if i were them i would do what usa didn't do at the end of the match usa was in a position where they just needed to tap and run harmeet singh i'm not sure what he was thinking trying to heave a six 
with two overs to go. Here we go. It's three to win, six balls to do it. And it's a dot. Oh, no, it's not. It's a misfield. Aaron Jones, it slipped through his fingers on his birthday. He's had a birthday to forget. Out not once, but twice. And now a crucial, crucial misfield. Well, I can't fault him too much. He shouldn't be in this situation. It shouldn't come down to needing to sprint in to cut off a single, defending two off a super over. There's a lot of things to criticize about USA tonight. I'm not going to pick on Aaron Jones for that one. There are other players in this lineup who had the responsibility to get USA over the line so they wouldn't be in a super over. And they just didn't get the job done. Well, it was regulation, being honest, Peter. He didn't have to sprint a yard. He was standing at a silly mid-on. It just burst through his fingers. It's probably not going to end up being the difference between the sides. I'll agree with you on that much. But USA, credit to them now. They are actually going to gamble. They're bringing everyone in. They're not just going to allow US, excuse me, Nepal to run two more singles. But Bertel, you would imagine, might just put a flourish to this finish with a boundary. They've only got one fielder outside. It's two check that. They've got a deep third and a deep square leg. Those are the two fielders outside the ring, and they're hoping for a brain fade from Kushal Bertel to give a boundary catch. Everyone else in saving a single. It's two to win. And he whips it elegantly out to the leg side. Any single from here will do. And the Nepal fans are on their feet. They know they're on the brink of a historic series victory here. And they're going to do so in the most dramatic of fashions. Here we go. Just one to win. Four balls to do it. No is the call. Well, the cardiac kids, they're known for their drama, Peter. There's always a twist. Well, <laughs> if they can't get a single from here, this would be the most... Just a reminder, there is another super over if think, there's three dots or two wickets. This would be the most unglamorous super over if Nepal can't go over the line. This might be a super over that sets back cricket a decade if they can't get over the line here, Lenny. <laughs> three balls remaining. Any run will do. USA need two wickets from one of their heroes of the World Cup, Sarah Netravalkar, or three miraculous dots. And Powell guides it away and gets the single. And Nepal get the victory. They take it on a saleable 2 0 series lead. Much to the delight of the thousands of fans who packed this Grand Prairie Stadium. It didn't look likely for much of the chase. But thanks to the heroics of Sampal Kami, allied with Kushal Bertel's return to form, a first 50 plus score in international cricket for over six months for him, his innings of 92 not out, Karen Casey's three wickets, and Sampal Kami's heroics in the 20th over, and then again in the super over. They've guided Nepal to a famous victory on the most sensational of Saturday nights in Grand Prairie. Nepal, they just don't know how to win a match but got by a comfortable margin, Lenny. They always take it down to the final ball, the final run. In this case, the final extra over, if you will. Super over. Rohit Pado and Kushal Bertil walk off with smiles on the faces. USA on the other hand. They're going to be going into the locker room wondering what on earth just happened. This is almost, in some way, shades of what happened in the Netherlands where they had winning positions... And then, inexplicably, shot themselves in the foot on numerous occasions and just froze, couldn't get across the line. And Andre's house in particular, Peter, he looks shell-shocked, doesn't he? And you can understand why the match was literally in his hands. It's harsh to criticise the man who was the highest run scorer of the chase, but even just a few strokes along the ground to the bigger side would have done. And he holed out 
Well, it started with Harmeet Singh's dismissal in the previous over in the 19th. Again, at that stage, USA really only needed a little over a run of ball. And he'd just taken two off the previous delivery with a very clever tap and run into a huge amount of green grass in the leg side. All he needed to do was do that a couple more times. Instead, for some reason, he tried to smash Karen KC back into the sight screen. Didn't get enough of it. And then Andre's house, same thing. You're in a situation where you just need to run a ball in the final over. And he tries to clear the deepest boundary in the ground, 80 plus yards, when all he needs, again, tap and run into the leg side. You're with a high percentage chance of picking up two. And you can literally jog to victory. Instead, USA has somehow managed to bungle this in a big way. Meanwhile, the Nepal fans, they're not complaining. This is the home away from home series for them. Huge amount of support in Grand Prairie for the Sun and Red Moon. As a lot of them sprinted out after the final ball, trying to beat traffic, but a significant number.